I'm sorry, Dad, but you're on holiday, and I'm I'm the only man I can go play some my own, you know. I'm sorry that you feel like that, but I, I couldn't not go. It's all right. You've got to go. Don't yeah. ask for me, everyone. But for me, I've got some free gifts anyway. I've got these given off. Is that one each? DNA, DNA. If you want one, go pick another one. And they are like they're called wrist pads. They like mouse mats for your wrist. So maybe if you don't know of, I don't know. But you look there's a nice little bit of artwork to sit on a shelf, aren't they? You know what? I think they go underneath the keyboard when you're typing. Maybe. Well, oh, but not when you're typing, when you're playing a game like that, because it does wear on your wrist after a while, like just doing the same forward, left, right, and right. So, I think um, I'll have the Mario Kart one. No, you can have that one if you want to. <laughs> but literally, I yeah, think he like, like, said he got sick of carrying them to the events all the time, so I wanted to take them, and I did him a favour by getting rid of them because he got sick of carrying them back and forwards. And I thought, you know what? I'll have them for an out. <laughs> out for an out. Out for an out. And then I also got this off Mr. Tootie UK, and it is the Nintendo Points for Twilight Princess. Um, unscratched, I don't think. Obviously, there's not much scratch it now because Nintendo Club is done, but it'll make. Did you have £3 on that? It did. Oh. It'll make my game complete. Who, who buys that? Who buys stuff like that? Because why it's sort of to make a game complete, someone will cost people to scratch them. You know what I mean? This is unscratched. Really? Complete. Why that's like that's like the health and safety thing in them being sought after. Why well, not really? Because the health and me. safety will be like generic about all games. This is just specific for Twilight Princess. So what you're telling us is yeah. he took that specifically for you. And when you didn't want to buy it, he just gave you it. Yeah. He also had the um, Four Swords Adventure manual, which he didn't give us. <laughs> Thank you very much, Joe. I really do appreciate that. <laughs> what do you get me? <laughs> <laughs> and also, these gifts here, which we got from Kev Davis, who was a seller there. I think the last time we were down at Doncaster, I bought this Zelda game off him. Which one was it? It was... Oh, Link's Awakening. It was the... Non-hologram non non -hologram one. Non-hologram one, yeah. Um, said, Didn't you worry about that? And we went, Shut up, Shut up man, Gav. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let them know I'm desperate for it. <laughs> but anyway, it was... Everyone can see in your face that you're desperate, Chris. As soon as you see Zelda, you're like, <gasps> Zelda! Hmm. <laughs> but Poker the, face. But I think after that video, I think he, say, he, he watched the video and I think his kids see it. And I think they're like excited to be on YouTube and stuff like that. So I think this time, um, he, gave us a he, he wanted to give us something, so he's given us a gift. One's for me, and I, I know this one's for me, and this one's for Gav. I've never opened them, we've not done them yet. But, we're not going to open them yet, Kev. What do you mean we're not going to open, open them yet? yet? Why not? Because, next week, in our video next week, we are doing, I have to tell them, it's, it's a bit of a birthday special, where we're going to exchange gifts for our birthday. Ooh. So we're going to extend it on, and we're going to open two gifts each, so these are getting turned into birthday presents. Oh, so, thank you, Kev, Kev, thank you very much for these birthday yeah. gifts. So you're going to get mentioned in two videos, yeah, Kev? Because Have you got... Put a picture of him now, like here, or a still of him. What, what between us? Yeah. Aye, yeah. Put, him, put him behind us, mate. Yeah, thank you, Kev, mate. Yeah, thank Cheers, you. Cheers, mate. Thank you for the Spot presents. on. Or oh, if he's down there. Thank yeah, you, thank Kev. You. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> yeah. Where's he so, going? So, basically, Kev... I don't know why other sellers don't do this, all the YouTubers <laughs> sending us birthday gifts from now on. Because me and Gav, our birthdays are really close. I mean, yeah, so thank you very much, Kev. Give us a day, and what you like. Uh, so, yeah, that was all three gifts. Can't believe I can't open it now. Uh, <laughs> right, I've got my pickups, so what have you got left? Uh, I've got my car boot stuff. Do you want us to show them? Yeah, you can do. Then I'll drop onto these pickups. Uh, right. I'll, I'll just show you the, the lot of them because I can't remember who I got more, what I got. I know I paid £1.50 for these. A couple of uh, third party GameCube controllers. 
I didn't even try them safety work yet. One pound fifty. It's not a bad yeah, price, you know. I can always use them. The the thumbsticks for spares or something like that. Yeah. Especially the Venom one. Um. I did get three Wii games, but Nick's stole them. It was Lego yeah, Batman. I've got a chance. I'd have had them. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting funny. Cause, oh, you sold them? I'll have them. I said, oh, they've already gone. What do you mean they've yeah. already gone? You didn't even give me a chance. One was Indiana Jones. Lego Indiana Jones, Lego Batman, and Raven Rabbits. One of the Raven Rabbits. Yeah, I was about that one. And he also, that was sealed, that one as well. Was it? Oh, I had that one. Yeah, I think they were like, I paid two pound fifty for the yeah. lot. The Indiana Jones wasn't Lego. That was just the Crystal what? Skull one. That no, was Lego. Are you sure? Yeah. No, I don't think it was. It was. It wasn't Lego. He's also rooted through the rest of the games I got and decided that he wants these three as well. I don't know if I want to give him them. I don't have a choice, like, because he's just going to take them. But uh, they are. It's... I forgot what they are now. Space Invaders, Looney Space Tunes. Two games, God. <laughs> Space Invaders, Looney Tunes, and Super Monkey Ball. So, I would say they're going in my collection, but probably not. We don't need them, do you? Yeah, I haven't got them. Well, put them in your collection. Oh, hey, man. But he's going to take them. I also got these. Now, I didn't realise this, but this is American. But it's sweet, like. That it? is. It's a perfect dark steel tin. We'll I've got time. it on PAL. Not two disc, though. But if it, I, I'm not sure if American works on English uh, 360. That's I think nice. the one does. I think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, I think it works on... Uh, what? Oh, that's sweet, like. Looks like some sort of a uh, pass key code or something yeah. like that. One of nine. You have to buy it nine times. I don't know. I wonder if it's some kind of like it's a hologram thing. Yeah. It looks like a security card or something like that. Yeah, off the game. It's in the game. Off you like pull it in. I don't know. He's been to try it, like being able to play it. It's off a N64, isn't it? Maybe some extra content you download and I've just flashed a code on the screen. Better <laughs> not be. <laughs> Although it is second hand, so I'm pretty sure somebody will have already got it. Um, also, I've got a 3.6 PS3 game. It says 250. I think I paid like two quid for it. Uh, Ratchet and Crank. Clank. Cracking time. I've already got the other one. I got the other one off too. Yeah, Donk asked in February, was it? Yeah. Uh, Tools of Destruction. So, to quote Mongoose on a new cycle, happy days. <laughs> a few PS, uh, Xbox 360 games. I think I've got three of these. God, this must smoke. How's that you? <laughs> No, I'll just it on you by now. Um, I got Fear. I'm not sure if I've got it. I think I might. I'm not sure if there's different, more than one game for it on the 360. Uh, I know I've already got this. It's a Grand Theft Auto 4. And Saints Row the Third. Now, them two, I don't know, I've definitely got. I wasn't sure about Saints Row the Third, but I've seen it in my collection down there. And then I got the Chronicles of Riddick, Assault on Dark Athena. Mm. Just for the crack, really. I know the, there was a one on the original Xbox, which was, like, not very good. Too dark, as in, like, the graphics were too dark. You couldn't really see what was happening. Also got a GameCube game. Everybody runs, you know that. I don't see many GameCube games. No, it was off the same bloke who sold us the controllers. Two quid. Two quid for Minority Report on the GameCube. Is that good? I don't know. I, don't know. I thought it was alright. I didn't think it was too bad. And he's the same bloke I got these off. Now that is... I think I paid 50 pence for it, which is about right. Uh, Robot Chicken Star Wars. I didn't realise that there's a part two to that as well. 
And then, I think I paid four quid for this. Might have been a fiver. But, for some reason lately, I've just been in a hankering for a bit of anime. I've been watching quite a bit on uh, Netflix. And I saw this. He had a... Uh, it's Birdie, by the way. Uh, four disc. Episodes 1 to 26. What did he have? Giver. And I, I don't know if it's the same one that they brought out like what, 20 years ago or something like that, but he's wanted a tenner for it and I thought, no, a fiver, I don't mind splashing on a, a random series, but not a bad. tenner. Not yeah. bad dog, have. And oh, some more PS2 goodness. I'll be honest, most of this was just for trade. I just got this out of daftness. I didn't know why. I think it was just a bulk to get four. I think he said 70, 75 pence each or two for a pound or something like that. So I just got four. It's a uh, Shamu. Deep Sea Adventure. I bet it's absolutely rubbish. But I thought, why not? This Isn't was... that expensive on the Dreamcast? I don't think it's a Dreamcast. It might be. Shamu. One of them. My, I don't know. I don't What's know. Shamu 1 and 2. <laughs> Shamu 1 is. I don't think Shamu 2 is. It's on the Xbox as well. You don't know what order they go. Yeah, they're bringing a Shamu 3 out, aren't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you're on about. Crown funded. Aye. Uh, trade for it. Star Wars, Lego Star Wars. Actually, I might give that to Lee because he's on about getting all the Star Wars games, isn't he? have to see if there's instructions in it. I don't know if he's going for variants. Yeah, there is, I. I don't know if he's going for platinum and proper. Um, Island Extreme Stunts, another Lego game. Bit like, I don't know if it's Stuntman-esque. More like, uh, uh, that type of thing anyway. Who cares? It's a Lego game. Disney's Treasure Planet. Thought that might be all right, Disney. Sometimes make good games these days. Do you need all these, like? Yeah, I haven't got them. So, like I say, some of them are just trade so for Do you need all these, do you? You need PS2 games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you need Zelda games, Chris? Yes, I do. <laughs> well, there you are. This one I never saw before, and I thought it could be quite interesting. Just one called Gift. It's a bit of a basic box, isn't it? Could be alright. Uh, this one was for eBay, I think. Just because I'm probably, I thought it would probably be about four or five quid. And it was 50 pence to a pound, something like that. So, uh, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. I thought, I, I haven't got one of the Mortal Kombat sealed. And I, every time I see one of them, I'm not sure which one it is. So I'll pick it up, just in case. Also got Garfield and PS2. Mess? What mess? And then this one's definitely trade fodder because I just sold one. eBay, when I say trade fodder for these PS2 games, it's pointless. Pointless taking them at CEX because you get like 50 pence for them at best. It's uh, Simpsons good. Road Rage. No, I just sold one of these for a fiver on eBay. Yeah, that's nice fodder in it. Yeah, 50 pence to a fiver. Might have been a pound, I don't know. Um, that is my lot. Now, Chris. Yes. What else have you got? Let's run through mine. Right. First pick up Is from... any PS2 games in there? Never. Never, Gav. I've given up on PS2. I won't pick any other boots on nowadays. It's oh. trash. John from uh, Travis Burton told us he's got a PS2 for you for free. Has he? <laughs> yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have passed him. <laughs> yeah. I should have. He no, told us on Monday. Maybe, I mean, maybe it's Tuesday, I forgot yeah. to tell you. Yeah. I says, I collect retro as well, you know. He says, you can't have it, it's for Chris. I says, well, give it to me, I'll just live around the corner. I was telling him about our uh, going to events and stuff like that. Did you? Yeah. Anyway, three games. Um, awesome prices, I think. I can't remember which was which, but one was four and two were three. And normally I'd haggle an event, but I thought for that price, I couldn't even knock them down a tenner. Three mass system games. One is Ghost House. You know what? I've been after that. One is Teddy Boy. 
which I got told good and things nice. of yeah. Simon Locke and Thunderblade. Um, yeah, three good games there, actually, yeah. Chris. For £10, I didn't even attempt to haggle them down. I thought it's a nice round number, £10, I'll take that. Yeah. I mean, after all three of them. Right. The things I miss out on because of holidays, you know. I'll say now, I, pick, I, I didn't bring it. I picked up Super Pang. I, um, I forgot to bring it. I, that's a game I mean, after for ages. I think I mentioned in our very first video at Doncaster. Um, yeah. I finally picked it up and I forgot to bring it. It's been twittering on about it for years now. Yeah. Right, these are another. I got these as a bundle. Oh, I can't remember the prices. Maybe. I think I got a fiver knocked off. I think it was maybe 25 got for 20, something like that. Or maybe 30 and I got for 25. Whoa. But it was mainly for Bionic Commando. I'll, I'll be honest, I would expect to pay about 15 for that, like, like Chris. Yeah, well, it was maybe 20 and I got knocked down to 15. I don't know how much that one goes for. But anyway, I was mainly for Bionic Commando and I thought I'd bundle, so I picked up Home Alone 2 and I picked up Lurie Towns and Roadrunner on the snares and um, I bundled them together, yeah. I remember when. Home Alone 2 came out, everywhere was selling it for a five, a brand new box and everything, you know. Like all the all the cheapy stores and all that, they just had walls and walls of it. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not paying a fiver for that. I think one was up for nine, one was up for seven. So I wonder if the other one was up for something like for four and it made 25 off for 20 or something like that. Mm. Possibly. But anyway, I don't know how much Bionic Commando was. Yeah. I would assume I'd pay a fiver for Bionic Commando. Yeah. Anyway, probably use a tenner for the Super NES game. Bionic Commando been after for ages, why well, ages since I seen Ben's video on it, Ben Mongo and you in the cycle. Go and watch his last three random games, he talks about it. It he makes it sound really good. Um I mean what Nax, I remember it as a kid. Um every game I picked up I was just so true for this one, I got told it was a good game, but you cleaned it for us, didn't you? And you said it wasn't that good. It's uh, it might be alright once you get used to it, but it was you said a bit floaty. Floaty is out, yeah. I didn't give it much of a chance, I'll be honest. I just put it on after I cleaned it to test it, and then I'd had a quick one life on it, basically. Five minutes, yeah. maybe, is at most. And these, it's just, nah. These, when we last picked up to the day, I still got more to show, the, the creme de la creme. But these, when we last picked up to the day, I had £20 left in my pocket. So I went over to the Retro Bros themselves, um, Retro Chris and Retro John. Um, and I went over to Chris from Press Start Gaming, Retro Chris, and basically he had Punch Out up for £20 and he also had Rad Race up for a fiver. So I went over and I gave the old, um, is it buy one get one free? And we had the whole joke of maybe get Rad Race for a fiver and get Punch Out for free. But we had a bit to and fro as you do, and then I basically gave the old, but by the way Chris, I have only got £20 in my pocket. <laughs> Well, I suppose that's what we have to take, then, isn't it? It is £20. See, it's not really haggling when that's all you've got. <laughs> yeah. The best way to haggle is when you've got a load of money <laughs> and you get money knocked off it anyway and say, can I have my change, please? But I think you'll agree that there were decent prices anyway. So for £20, I got Punch Out the Rad Racer, which is a fantastic deal, I think. Um, thank you very much, Chris. We always appreciate the deals you give us, because you do always look after me and Gav very well. So thank you very much. And... You know, I love going to their store, mate. It's, it's not just the, the, the games and stuff, it's the crack as well. It was a bit good, you weren't there, Gav, because uh, I was good, I wasn't there. I got off John. Oh, Gav's a big spender nowadays. No, he, he likes <laughs> he likes the, the expensive stuff. Yeah. You like your, your big box stuff. Like this one here. Um, I asked you for a photo of what box Nintendo and Super NES they got. And all I got back was no. Because uh, I was going to, if they had something, I was going to say. Pick it up and I'll PayPal them if they give us the thing. Right. And then what I got was a voice photo. Voice here. Gav asked for a picture of um, Chris's boxed games, so I sent them this. <laughs> they boxed, don't they, Gav? Them's his box games. <sighs> it should have come, shouldn't you? Should have come. Anyway, this pick up. I seen it for £40 when I first walked in. I seen it for 35 but further down. I offered him 30 he said no. And then I went down and Wishwash had up for 36 Immaculate condition. 
he said I can have it for 30 because I tell him about the other one I was like I'll tell you what that's an awesome deal I might come back and get that if I don't spend my money went to the next stall Rich King Retro had it up for I'll show you straight away it is the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition on the GameCube he had up £25 unbelievable I said to him, I says, I hope, I says, I'll have this off you, and I says, I hope it's on a tight walk, says, because I'm having it for 25, joking on. And he pretty much said, no, no, I'm here to sell. He says, he's getting his money out of it. So he, he's having it himself for that price. 25 quid, man. Unbelievable. I was chuffed that pick up, and it is in really good condition and all. I mean, it was up for, like you say, 35 was the cheapest I've seen. If I got offered it for 30, off Lewis, and that's because I, I know him. But everywhere else it was like 35s, 40s all over the place and then all of a sudden Rich King I set up for 20, 25 sorry. Did you not offer him 20 for it though? No, for, for that price again, I, 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 how can I knock money off that when it was only for such a great price? Well you say, would you do 20 for it mate? Mm -hmm. And my main pick up of the day, which is, I was chuffed with. Alright, oh, I thought I said 10. No. Um, Considering that when I first walked in, this was up for £75. <laughs> Which has been up for £75 for the last few events. Let I've us been guess. Here. Was it on a, a rack at the back? Yeah. Yeah, with a lot of really. Well, I'm going to get straight into it. It is Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages on the Game Boy Colour. And if you can see there, it was up for 40 I don't know if you can see. Which is a decent price anyway, because I, I, expect, I was expecting to maybe pay up to original 50 if this was in good condition but it was up for 40 and I'd have said there's anything can you do better on it and it took 35 so basically that completes me ages and seasons I've got them both now box is quite nice but it is a bit oh it, it's it's a couple a bit, of doing dings in it in it's and been owned the top it's got yeah. a you won't you won't have seen what I just pointed out but yeah, I was just pointing it out with Chris. But it's yeah, nothing. It's, it's it is. It's kind of a bit worn around the edges and that, and around this side. Like you said, for me, yeah, that floorboard there. What was that? I just shook the game down. It made a funny noise. I thought it was a game box, man. Like Craig or something. <laughs> and then it has got a slight dink right in the back there. But just sitting on my shelf for now. Like you saying, I can always upgrade these in the future. But for thirty-five pounds, I can't complain with that. Fantastic, really. And like I said, that was my best pick up from there. That was a fantastic day. I cannot wait for the next one. It's always just a great pleasure going to meet all yeah. of you guys. It's a pity it wasn't like this weekend, the weekend after. Yeah. Or not this one when you were watching, the one when we film filming now. Because I could have gone. And I'd have had some money to spend. Because it's burning a hole in my pocket at the moment. So, yeah, is that it? Yep, yeah, I think so. It's been a, could be a long video. Don't know what time we started. Maybe put it out in two parts, both on the same day if it was that long, Chris. Oh, I know, man. It's only been on what? Oh, I get complaints. 40 minutes or something. Smith complains if we put long videos out and he says, put it out in two parts, man. Why not? Just because watch... an hour's too long. Just watch half. No. It's not an hour. But just watch half and a bit of half. Just do it in two halves, otherwise yeah. he gans on like a little woman. No. You do it then. You edit and put it down in two halves. All you have to do is just I put it in the middle. No, I don't like it because. People don't watch me, you always get one from all viewers and the other. I like to say people have the matter. full retro head experience. It's pretty on two parts if it's too long. It's not too long. It's getting too long now because we're getting done. Make that long. Right, thank you everyone for watching. Um, yeah, we shall see you in the next one.